three, two, one. Oh my God, that is cold. Hi. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest <laughs> podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles, You Betcha Guy here with Squirrely Ryan. We are live in the Troy Escalade Jackson Podcast Memorial Podcast Studio. We are presented by Ice Mountain. I am <laughs> Ice Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And uh, we're feeling good. Ryan, you seem to be ready to roll. Oh, God. This is actually yeah, phenomenal. This, this beer tastes phenomenal it does. right now. I don't know why. I was I had a hankering for an ice cold beer and like these are really cold. Very. Like when we say OMG, that's cold, we mean it. And we're being <laughs> dead serious. If you guys think I'm joking, I'm being yeah. serious. I almost need a can cooler for my yeah. my hands getting cold. My fingies are getting a little chilly willy. Drinking gloves. Can yeah. cooler. It's about that time of year though. This is what I wanted, remember? Yeah. Cold outside, cold beer. It's just the best feeling in the world. It's a good uh it's a good bridge between uh frozen, frozen. cockshi season and whiskey season. That's what it was. There you go. <laughs> um also, I gotta have a bone to pick with one of the listeners. Ooh. Mm. Uh Ryan Ryan went off on a listener this morning on yeah. double bogey show. Come on, boy, give it to us. No, it's not a bad thing. So and made, I told her it was too early. She oh. made soup already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She actually, she actually texted me. She's like, I know that you want it to be a little cooler out for chili, <laughs> but can I make this soup? And I was like, what? Fine. The soup was great. Um, is it, it's, it's spelled G N O C. Noki. Noki. Yeah, mm-hmm. Noki. I didn't know how to pronounce it. I wasn't going to make an ass of yep. myself. Mm-hmm. So she made a Noki soup. Noki mm. fucks. It was, as Ryan would say, un fuego. Yeah. It was great. Tasted great. Um, And apparently on the Patreon, I had a, it was a Patreon, right? The, a rant about her white chicken chili that she makes. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, that sounds right. You guys outed me to Anne. And and put up a story of us making the nochi, and then people responded to her and said, "Uh, g- gonna need this recipe and your white chicken chili <laughs> recipe." Miles was raving about it, so then Anne starts strutting around the house a little bit, <laughs> Ooh. like she's king chef all of a sudden, and of course, what ends up happening is Anne was like so were you talking about my white chicken chili and i was like nope i wasn't (laughs) and then she died laughing because she said the listener that told her about it also told her that if she asked me about it i will deny it (laughs) (laughs) and that is exactly what i did and so nope guys Anne's gonna get a really big head she's gonna start even more power than she already has if we're constantly complimenting her. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's cool it. She made a great soup, but let's just tell her it was okay <laughs> so she doesn't strut around the house anymore. Please. Yeah. Someone's so uh someone has to make her recipe and then be like, yeah, you know, it was okay. Thanks yeah. for the recipe though. Yeah. <laughs> recipe was not great, but now people are gonna edible. flutter DMs like Miles said your Noki soup was awesome. I don't do that, guys. Yeah, this ruins all your scoring. I know. Yeah. I'm just losing points by the second. <laughs> well, and, and the fact that I was on Patreon too. Patreon's a safe space. It was for all of it us. was supposed to be a safe yeah. space. Yeah. Not anymore though. Jared put out a teaser of Patreon and me dogging on my in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <actually>. yeah. <laughs> I don't He's know denying that. it. Yeah. I love that. Deny, deny, deny. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I didn't see or, it. To Jer- to Jared's defense, I never even I didn't even see the the teaser. I don't care if you see it, as long as they don't. Yeah. But I feel like if I didn't see, it, I'm on there probably way more than they are, and I didn't even see it. So well, we'll find well, that's out. That's not good if our posts aren't getting seen too. By the way, guys. Yeah, we got. Um, regardless, 
let's cool it on the and compliments. All right. Let's uh, if can we make this a vault? Can we make this a safe zone? If I say something nice about Anne, word should not get back to her. Yeah. Yeah. If he's going to say something nice about her, it'll be to her face. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't need to come third person. Yeah. Well, no, you don't want to say stuff nice to their face, Ryan. That's just marriage 101. You don't want to be nice to each other. You want to keep score no. and you want to have leverage over the other person. You say really mean uh, shit to their face. And the second they leave the room, be like, God, she is awesome. I love she her. Is she great. is so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Gosh. The second she comes back, I'm like, who said you could come back in here? Yeah. Yeah. Could you do something, something like your, that? Go make that some of that. Today? Go make some of that mediocre soup of yours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. Gosh, she's so hot. So, guys, don't out me anymore, please. I would appreciate that. The soup See, was good. And, and we had it. <laughs> I'm not a big leftovers guy. Really? But we ate it two nights in a row, and it was Hell yeah. amazing. The Noki's, what's the difference between Noki, Nefla, and just regular dumplings? Oh, God, you're asking the wrong guy. That might question. be. I think there's Italian seasoning in Noki. Mm. I do like, I, I fuck with Nefla. It's also the shapes, too, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. The potatoes different are a little bit different. Lumps. Yeah. I had I had soup yesterday for three different meals, uh, one for lunch, one for a late lunch, early supper, and then one for supper. I had street corn soup, which is kind of like white chicken chili for lunch. I had homemade tomato soup for an mm-hmm. early supper. And then for supper, I had potato soup with bacon in it. Super. So I think, I mean, in my house, it's definitely <laughs> soup season. You got some runny shits going on. Yeah, they're not. They're not. I don't think I want to weigh in on Ryan's no. shits. Um. What was the second one? I don't think I've ever had tomato soup. I don't think I've ever had homemade tomato soup in my entire life. Grilled cheese with it? No, I didn't. I didn't even have crackers with it either. It was just straight tomato soup. And it's actually pretty good. But I I forgot the saltines, forgot the uh forgot the um Was that here? Grilled cheese. Yeah. You should put some we had some Lay's originals. I think that'd be good in a soup. (sighs) Yeah. It's just it's for me, it's gotta be saltines. Mm. Okay. Maybe a little parm. But yeah, I didn't have any of that. So just I just raw dogged it. Raw dog tomato soup, homemade. Which is um, its own ordeal that we don't need to dive into. But raw dog and tomato soup is kind of a psycho move. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to lie. Just so, to sit down and eat only a bowl of tomato soup seems insane to me. Sounds like the name of a 90s punk band. Yeah. Raw dog and tomato soup. Yeah. Some and I normally would not have done that, but I was that Bo- hungry. Bowling for tomato soup. <laughs> and I didn't just want to take advantage of all the uh, the snacks that you buy for the employees. I didn't want to eat a full meal out of there. Okay. <laughs> That's, That's not true. Smart. That's <laughs> so false. <laughs> but so, all in all, um, whether we like it or not, apparently soup season's here. By the way, little premature for my liking, but it was. It was. Why, am I going to turn down a good good soup? No. When we got here this morning, <laughs> it was under fifty degrees. <laughs> it was. So I think it that almost makes it count, right? I think mm-hmm. it counts if you have soup for breakfast because that's under, <laughs> yeah. you're eating it under 50 degrees. <laughs> that's a cereal, So is. is breakfast soup just cereal? <laughs> that's a good point, Miles. Is it just cereal for the soup? Because cold soup, <laughs> cold soup <laughs> is technically still soup, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could heat up the cereal if you wanted. You could. Warm milks. Actually, there might be a few cereals that warm yeah. and hot cereal. Like Cinnamon Cocoa Toast Beats. Crunch might be decent warm. So why do we call it cereal, not just breakfast soup? And then there's hot cereal too. Yeah, like cream of wheat. Yeah, uh, cream of wheat. Yeah, good... cocoa wheats. Also, cocoa you could, wheats. You could just put a little extra milk in your oatmeal. That's pretty soupy. You could get that very soupy. Um, interesting. How can we call it oatmeal when it's just milk and oats? But when you take those oats and put them into a shape, then it's cereal. I didn't know that that's only what oatmeal was. I've only done the dr- the packets with water. Yeah, it's pretty much just oats and then you milk or water. Well, I think yeah. it's like cornmeal. Like cornmeal has the same type of consistency as oatmeal. I don't think, I th- I think the meal thing is, you're not interpreting the meal thing correctly. If it's an what do you oat mean? Meal. It's oatmeal. It's oats. What about cornmeal? A- we're not talking about cornmeal. No, I know, but I'm just things. saying just things that end in meal. Meal. So it'd be like a cereal meal is what we could call it. Yeah, well, oatmeal is just milk and oats, and then cereal is just milk and oats turned into shapes. But 
cornmeal is not just corn and milk. What is it? It's, it's corn and meal. <laughs> it's corn and meal. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Finally, a voice of reason. So could have weighed in way earlier. Also, the difference between cereal and soup. Cereal is sweet. Soup is uh, savory. Mm. That is I true. Mean, that's, that's a great point. Yeah. A salty cereal would be pretty gross. <laughs> also, a yeah. sweet soup would be strange. Yeah. Yeah. But also maybe pretty good. Maybe like squash. Yeah, I don't even know. Squash soup is kind of sweet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, a little bee sugar on we top. Gotta, you know what? Regardless of how this goes down, let's all try a salty cereal. <laughs> And a sweet soup. <laughs> and a sweet soup. I think that's our next. We're an experiment podcast. We know that. And I think that's our next experiment: salty cereal and sweet soup. Yeah, sweet soup's actually a good name for a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. and that we have that for breakfast: sweet soup. Or maybe sweet. But soup. you could spell it sweet, as in like S U I T E, and then you eat the soup in a sweet. Yeah, yeah, I like oh, that. Yeah. Big mm-hmm. booths. Eat soups and big booths. <laughs> booths. booths. Soups and booths. <laughs> That's like soup booth. And that would be the sweet soup. Yeah. We could coop up and soup up. <laughs> yep. We could call it the soup coop. Yeah. We could call it the sweet soup we coop. Could, we could soup co- kid will never leave his soup. Okay. Soup, <laughs> soup kid's afraid to leave his soup. <laughs> yeah. We, we could call our they employees are. the soup troop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you could, they could go tell their friends and family they work at the soup kitchen. Yeah, they got the scoop. Because they, they'd be oh, scooping that soup. You, know, you get paid to work at the soup kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know, not volunteering. they make a living somehow. Right. I volunteer at the soup kitchen on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, you work the soup kitchen during the week and volunteer on the weekends. Yeah, <laughs> making more soup. Lots of ladles involved with this person's life. Yeah. Fucking call him the ladle king. That's ladle, what they're gonna ladle, call ladle. me by the end of fall if Ann keeps this rate of soup making up. The one thing that call me the ladle king. You got enough ladles at your house? Maybe you need to stock up. I know. I'm gonna have to uh, go to the ladle store. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ladle up, as they say in the industry, in the, soup the culinary. Community. Yeah, ladle up, as they say in the soup community. Um, the one thing I do hate about leftover soup is it's so hard to get. Uh, so hard to warm up to a good temp. Oh my god, mm-hmm. the edges mm-hmm. get burnt, but yeah. then the middle's cold. Why can't we figure that out? Or it's just piping hot. I mean, uh, the, the real move would be pour the old stuff into like a pot again and reheat it on the yeah. so much extra instead work. of the so microwave. I'd rather work. bitch about the microwave than yeah. do all that work. That's like putting cold pizza into the oven yeah. and preheating it to four hundred versus just eating it cold. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it took me like four minutes in the microwave to heat that soup up. Yeah, and every minute you have to go in and start stirring again. It still doesn't, it's no, it's not consistent. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to fix that. Me neither. For, for a different podcast. <laughs> yeah. We're just the experiment. We're not the engineering podcast. Yeah, you know? we'll, we'll punt on that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll put that one on the... Back burner. Back burner. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, all right. That's enough soup talk for one day. What do you got for us, Jared? Uh, Danglin Wang asks, how many IOUs can you have before you have too many? Can you? Well, question is, can you have an IOU on an IOU? I owe you on that one. I owe you. <laughs> I think you can stack them. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it just counts as another IOU. Is the question like, stack them. like how many IOUs am I owed before I start getting annoyed? Before like, someone's like, all right, dude, no more IOUs. Yeah. Like how many, like, okay, in our world, how many golf balls do you have to borrow someone before you're like, okay, dude, you I just got to buy gotta, you a box. You got to go get your yeah. own. I think that. I mean, if you're if it's every week you're taking out IOUs, that's probably not good. That means that you're in a bad spot and you're probably not you're on borrowed time. But if I say an IOU once a month, once every two months, I'd say it feels like a good frequency. (laughs) I mean, I I feel like I'm the max I'll go on IOUs. I won't go two more than two unpaid IOUs before stacking up a third. Like no, are I, we going just cash? Anything. Like, yeah, okay. like I say, I forget my wallet. You buy me lunch. I'm not letting that happen more than twice. 
sure. before I paid you back for those lunches. Well, I also think it depends on what. Because lunch, if it's like, hey, you bought last time, I kind of got to buy this time. Yeah. And sometimes IOUs don't even hold up at all. Imagine if it came to be Friday and I said, hey, guys, I got an IOU on your on your paycheck <laughs> this week. <laughs> that ain't going to go for very long. No. You know? So I think it also is the context. But if it's like uh, golf balls or maybe a couple beers at the, mm-hmm. you know, I think that you can stack them on top of yeah, each other like a little Less than more. 20 bucks. Yeah, it's got to be lower dollar amount. But if yeah. it's like, hey, can I borrow like a cool 10 grand? I owe you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to stack too many 10 grand IOUs on top of each other. Right. I guess it also depends on what circle you run in, but. Uh, in the wrong circles. Yeah. I think it depends on the previous track record of this person as well. Like, have they borrowed yeah. from you in the past? What's the turnaround time on on them paying you back? What's their credit score? It, What's the credit score? Yeah, is it, it under 500? Not great. Yeah. Is there anything that you can put up as collateral? You know, you got to think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can owe me. But if you don't pay me back, I get your car. <laughs> give me that wedding ring. Yeah. Pinks. <laughs> All up. Yeah. Give me your pink slip. I'll yeah. hold it as collateral. <laughs> I mean, it also matters, too, how many times I've IOU'd you something. Like, if I'm giving you shit all the time, you better get me when I need it. That's a great friendship. There's a great friendship to have. And that's one where you are always borrowing to them and they're always borrowing to you. So there's never actually any repayment that Mm -hmm. goes on. It's just a constant back and forth. I borrow some golf balls from Ryan. He... I then I buy him a drink at the bar, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vice versa, back and forth. I think that those are some of the best friendships you can have in the world. I would agree. And uh you know mentally, like if you were keeping score, what that score is at. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Ryan invites me over for dinner. I don't they're like, you don't need to bring anything, right? And they pay for the dinner and they cook it, whatever. Then they come over to our house and we do the same. Mm -hmm. It's not like a keeping score of Okay, well, you spent uh, 12 bucks on the meat, so I got to pay Venmo you for half of the, you know, that's just, yeah, that's hate, the worst. Yeah. I do know people that do that, and it's like, what the fuck? It's the worst. What are we doing? Yeah. What happened to lending your neighbor a cup of sugar? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, hoping that one day they'll maybe come over and need two eggs. Mm-hmm. And they can have it. Well said, Ryan. Yep. So, all in all. Just don't be a fuck. <laughs> yeah. nice. um, Ryan, the wine guy asks, uh, red or white wine? <laughs> Ryan, wine guy? Well, he asked the question. Oh, you're asking this to us? <laughs> okay. Is that your other burger? I think I'm just uh, in general, red or, I, I mean, it, it, it's situational. Okay. I think it's situational, but if it's like, there's the situation is clean slate. You're not eating anything, and you have a choice between a red and a white. I'm choosing the red wine every I, single me time. Me too. Me too. I'm a I'm a dry wine guy. Mm-hmm. I don't love a too sweet deal going on. Although I do like a buttery Chardonnay once in a while. Ooh, a buttery, slippery almost. Yeah, Buzzwords. Slick, Tannins. Slick little buttery tanned up white yeah. wine. <laughs> Just slides right down your throat. Yep. Yeah. Grease up those windpipes ears and send it on down. <laughs> um fuck, I don't even know why I brought this up, but I'm going to anyway. Um, I did buy my wife some really nice wine glasses a couple years ago. And so each type of wine is designed to be drank <laughs> out of a certain wine glass. And I will tell you, if you've never drank wine out of the proper glass that it's supposed to go in, i.e. the opening on the top and what part of the tongue it hits on <laughs> when it comes out of the cup, you're fucking missing out. Is it really that big of a difference? It's a huge difference, dude. I'll bring them in. Ah, maybe not. They're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you can come over and try it. Okay. okay. Just drink it out of a regular glass or drink it out of the actual glass it's meant for. And it is a massive difference. Okay. I pretty much the only wine I really ever drink is like a sweet red or a red blend. 
So because you're not drinking it out of the right glass. <laughs> no, I just that's the only wine I like. Yep. So yep. I want is there a right glass for that? Should I should I Well the, it, it all depends. It's like uh like Pinot Noir, Pinot Grigio, like the different styles. Yeah, it straight up says red blend on the bottle. It, well, I, it, I, it, it's got to be a type of wine. Like, it's not just a red blend. That's, it's probably no, like that's a, that's literally it's a type of wine. Is called red blends a type of wine? Can we look that up? How just, can you I be such that, a wine guy but also not be such a wine guy? What what do I type? Is just type blend? in red like, blend wine. All right, red blend wine. Red blend wine. Whoops. Wine. <sighs> Um, what is a red blend wine? So like a, a red of- a red wine blend is any red wine that is not made with one specific variety. Okay, so it blends. The two wine blends di- two. It's like yeah. a combo. So it's not. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. don't know, Ryan. <laughs> anyway, I don't have a I don't have a glass for red blend. <laughs> okay. So I, I I I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm. Okay, you so, can't come over so I'm drinking it out of the right so glass then. if I'm reading Ryan right and what he's saying, that you are uncultured mm-hmm. swine and you should just drink it out of a paper cup. Yep, I think and that's what I'm kicking up as well. If you're drinking red blends, you might as well be drinking mm-hmm. out of a paper cup is what Ryan's saying. Yep. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, Alex Smith asks... Could you use a chest freezer to do ice plunges in? Yes. I actually have a buddy that does that. I don't know why I have so many buddies that have cold plunges, but <laughs> it sounds like I need to run in a different circle. <laughs> the Arctic circle. But he's got like a chest freezer that he's filled up with water, and then he has like this thing he hangs over the side Chiller. that keeps it a certain temperature for him. So every single day, it's just the right temperature for him. So that he doesn't close the chest freezer? No, he does. No, he does. Does it freeze? Or do you, nope. have, you have it like I, all the way down. Well, it depends on what temperature you do it. Like you can set the temperature of the water. Yeah. And I imagine that if you set it cold enough, like maybe the top layer would freeze over that you'd have to break through. So I, I don't think that the freezer's actually the freezer's actually not plugged in. Um it's uh, the chiller that's controlling yeah. the temperature gotcha. of the water. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, Otherwise, gotcha. yes, it would freeze. I don't okay. know how often he's got to change the water. But you think you'd want to change the water a decent amount. Yeah. I mean, I don't reuse my bath water ever, so. No. my my, (laughs) true. (laughs) God, that'd be gross. (laughs) It'd be nasty. Mine started to get kind of scummy last weekend, so I had to change. Get her cleaned out. out. Yeah. It was fucking gross. But it was also like it would sit. I mean, it would sit in 90 degree heat for two days, three days in a row before I changed it. The fuck, it was gross. <laughs> anyway, put some chlorine in there. I know. I gotta start putting some chemicals. I don't think that would sit well with the vinyl, though. That the yeah. pod is made out of. I'll be fine. You could just Bad also fuck. not worry about it and just abandon cold plunges altogether. It's kind of it's kind of fun though. Just take a cold shower. I actually like it. Makes like the fact that you don't like them makes me want to do it more. <laughs> It's not that I don't like them. I just think it's overkill. <laughs> you know, you're not a professional athlete by any means. It's not for recovery. It's for it's for mental clarity. I know. Yeah, anyways, we don't need to get into this hole. I I would do a. I would do it. I just don't want to go through the work to do it. Sure. Yeah. You can come over. You can come. To that my sounds house. like work. <laughs> Use Ryan's cold plunge water. Yeah. Well, I'm drinking out of his expensive ass <laughs> wine glasses <laughs> in the cold plunge. It's a big eye. That actually yeah. sounds kind of nice. Because then it warms you up from the inside while the outside gets cold. Yeah. Yep. But then there's no way if if these glasses are what I think they are, not a chance that Meg's letting those things outside. <laughs> no. So in the garage. I'm going to have to bring the cold plunge in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> then you owe Ryan a big IOU after that. Yep. Yeah. Wine in cold water. <laughs> I'm going to find out what these wine glasses are and I'm going to get the next step up. And I'm just going to bring them everywhere and just show that you don't have to be that paranoid about nice wine glasses. (laughs) I'll travel with them. You can try and get a set that's nicer, but there isn't. Okay. That's what he wants you to do. You can try, though. (laughs) I also have a carrying case for mine in case they do need to leave the house. In case you need to fly with them. It's like a hard case. If we go on vacation, we typically bring them. As soon as he he goes on vacation to Napa, he's going to bring his wine glasses with. Yeah. The the valley... best valley in the united states for wine doesn't have those nice glasses not these ones they don't (laughs) 
So B Y O W G. Uh, um, Willie B. Hard again asks uh, <laughs> Fornicate, Elope, no. Assassinate, Burritos, Tacos, Nachos. Nacho? Taco? Burrito? Burritos, Nachos, Tacos? Mm hmm. <laughs> About burritos. And tacos. <sighs> That's actually a very, very tough one. I like them all pretty equally. I, I got mine. Go ahead, Tyler. I, I'm eloping with the burritos. I am. I'm going to have to assassinate the taco and I'm going to fornicate the nachos. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right, Tyler. Yeah. Tyler. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Me too. Um, well, it's two to two now. So I think I'm going to absolutely fornicate burritos. Okay. I'm going to elope tacos. That's the right shape for that. <laughs> and I am going to assassinate nachos. I think nachos are somewhat of the low brow of the uh, Mexican food. I think it's, it's a reason why Would it's agree. an appetizer and not as much of an entree. Would agree. Um, if you have ever had a good taco... <laughs> If you've ever had the fixings on it with the sauces and the little extra cabbage that they throw in there once in a while with the right cheeses and all of that, the hot sauce, so a good taco just can't be beat. Because a burrito can be a lot sometimes. It's a lot going on. That's what I want. They don't get as fancy because... Uh, burritos is about volume more than it is about just it's, having a good taco. Sounds like you haven't had a good burrito then. Oh my god, <laughs> that is true. Or nachos, or nachos. Or nachos. <laughs> you've never had a good nacho, I dude. I can't argue with either of those. <laughs> never had a good um, nacho, but yeah, I think a well done taco just can't be beat. It's all the right ratios. Did you el uh, elope burritos? Tacos. Yeah. Yeah, he fornicated the burrito. Yeah, I would fornicate the burrito as well, and I would elope <laughs> the tacos because I, I could eat tacos every single day of the mm -hmm. week. So we're split 50-50 um, here. And exactly. obviously, that means nachos being... Uh, the thing about nachos is the chi or the, the chips can get soggy so quick. There's a lot of play with nachos. You can have some really bad nachos. There, Yes. very. The thing that I like about nachos, specifically the appetizer variety... Is it brings the people together, family style? I, I know I'm not hardly ever having a whole plate of nachos solo. Yeah, but I am with the boys. We we had a we went to a happy hour, got a plate of nachos. We devoured that shit. It was great. Yeah, yeah but it's not about the nachos. It's the booze that brings you together. It's the margaritas that make you all feel as one. It's not the nachos. You usually don't have the one without are the just other. A sidekick to the margaritas. <laughs> it's the Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I suppose if you'd like to, you know, fornicate Robin, but I want Batman, you know? Yeah. A lot of trauma with Batman. Yeah. Pippin. So. Larsa. Um, Camel Toe asks. Straight I mean, to they the didn't point. Even, they didn't even, <laughs> they didn't even try. It's Cam L Toe. Yeah. Like Maybe. a tow truck at the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, Cam Elto. Yeah. Gotcha. You got to say it like that. Cam Elto. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You can't just say Camel Toe. <laughs> you can't just say Rick's Hard. Yeah. You can't just say Huge Erection. Yeah. It's Huge. Yeah. All right. I'll do better. Uh, That's okay, Jared. Would you rather spend the day reading or hiking? Reading. Reading. Easy. <laughs> I'm hiking. Dude, I think for I keep sure. hike too. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit down and read all day. <laughs> it's not as fall. Well it's but it's read. not. It's not about reading. It's about not hiking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you could have put anything before. It could have been like, would you rather uh, do your taxes? Just give yourself paper cuts all day, or go hiking? <laughs> I'm choosing paper cuts. You know. Yeah, no, I completely get where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, just put anything in front of that, and I'm probably choosing that, other than being murdered. <laughs> I'll go on a hike, but basically going on a hike is the equivalent to getting murdered anyways, so. It's mentally murdering. What about That one's a wash. What about going canoeing or going hiking? 
canoeing. Really? Yeah, what's yeah. what's the weather that day? Canoeing, you at least can sit. That's true. If the weather's bad, I'm going. I'd rather hike and then get stuck in the water with the waves, man. Well, you, nowhere I mean, to hide. I'm not canoeing in the white water raft. I'm not going white water raft. It doesn't matter if the weather's bad. There's still waves in the water. I know, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The the rapids are the rapids, regardless of the weather. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Tyler. I know, but <laughs> hiking. I'm, I'm, yeah, <laughs> Jared, like, we're going hiking for sure. How much you guys Let's like hiking. hiking? I'm like Let's wondering if you've ever even been hiking. Just walking elevated. Yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> I learned to do that in read because I can't read all day. I can read for like an hour, but you can't fun. read. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. tie your shoes. Or tie your shoes. Yeah, it's hard. Good gosh, bunch Jared. of gibberish. Huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, Austin asks, what's this? Uh, is it Austin? Straight Austin. <laughs> okay. Austin asks is his name. <laughs> Austin period asks, what's the statute of limitations for giving back a weed whacker? A friend lent you five years ago. <laughs> it's what? your weed whacker. Do I dude. own it now? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Yours. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I would hope your friend has a brand new one though, that you what? put on his front step with a bow on it. Well, question is, is what does this other guy's lawn look like? <laughs> he has a weed whacked in five years. Was he out there with the scissors? He just took Roundup and sprayed right around everything you'd have to weed whack. <laughs> yeah, he just move. put a rock bed around his entire fence. Yep. Smart. But that, yeah. Yeah, you own that shit. Um, Harry Beaver asks, if your life had a theme song, what Is would it? Is it Harry Beaver? Harry space Beaver. Harry Beaver. Hair E. <laughs> no. B-V. Two words. Harry Beaver. Beaver. Okay. Yep. Uh, if your life had a theme song, what would it be? Hmm. Maybe the lights hmm. a highway. <laughs> it's a good one. Dude. Don't don't blink. <laughs> don't blink. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty up there. Uh, We're taking all the good ones. <sighs> hmm. I don't want to waste this. <laughs> you know. Got to thread the needle. Uh, living on a prayer. That's a good one. Need some, need some inspo. I think maybe Billy's got his beer goggles on. It's a good one. Be a good one. Eight miles from Santa Fe. <laughs> yep, Santa Fe. Park. I think it's Park Hill by the lake. Oh, the sorry. Yeah. Whoops. Um, it's a tough one. Life uh, motto. You said. Hmm. Life motto. As a song, oh, what, what, what's the question? If you if your life had a theme song, what would it be? Oh, okay, okay. Um, life's a dance. You yeah. learn as you go. Maybe fat bottom girls. <laughs> <laughs> that might be mine. Maybe get low by Little John. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, and the East Side Boys. Don't side forget, side. They always, <laughs> they're always forgotten. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Cha Cha Slide because this is a simulation, and I'm just doing what I'm coded to anyway. Oh my God, deep. That's okay. Deep. That was well thought through. Thank you. I also think, yeah, my life probably fat bottom girls, more so what I'd like to be, maybe Kokomo. Mm. You know, I'd love to have that Kokomo state of mind. Yeah. I mean, it's... They're basically the same song. We're recording this at 2 o'clock on a Tuesday. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, though. You guys are drinking. <sighs> that is true. That's another good yeah. one. Uh-huh. So, I think Ryan's is probably uh, Thunderstruck. Or... Uh, um, Any five-figure death punch. Let the bodies yeah. the floor. Uh, any, I can get on board with that. <laughs> I could see any any song by Hollywood Undead. Yeah, Avenged Sevenfold. Yep. <laughs> I've never listened to any of those artists or groups. I think you'd love them. No, I know. I, <laughs> I should start. It's it's situational though. Sometimes I'm looking to chill. Sometimes I'm looking to skillet. Put bodies. Just on the make floor. a fucking pick already. <laughs> what would it be? It'd be Avenged Sevenfold. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I don't know song names really. Are you do skillet? I feel like a monster. That's a good one. I feel. How does that go? Sing it, Jared. I don't remember. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna change mine. To, I'm just a kid by Simple Plan. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. I'm just a kid, and life is a nightmare. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. 
<laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, next question, Jared. Uh, should we take a break? Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Jared wants us to take a break, even though we we're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could tell we were, how exhausted we were after that last one. <laughs> break time. Yeah. Half time. I am Ice Mountain. Guys, if you would like to also be an I am supporter as Ryan and I are, you got to go to the Ice Mountain store and get some Ice Mountain. It'll keep you wet. It'll keep you hydrated. <laughs> and there's just not much better than getting refueled with a little Ice Mountain. I'm about to do that right now. Yeah. If you are wet for more than four hours, don't need to consult a doctor. It's exactly what's supposed to happen. Grab another mm. Ice Mountain. Grab yeah. another ice mountain. If you're wet for less than four hours, talk to your doctor. Yeah, because mm -hmm. then we have issues. Mm -hmm. Now, something I would like to do is I'd like to drink ice mountain out of one of Ryan's fancy wine glasses. Oh, I bet that Fuck. would hit different. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would hit different because it would hit a different part of your tongue, which may it, you may experience a different taste, a better taste. You know what a perfect little years. afternoon or morning would be? What's that? A little cold plunge in some ice mountain, followed up by some ice mountain espresso, followed up by some ice mm. mountain from Ryan's fancy glasses. Mm. And ice mountain in your water bed when you go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. That's a full day. <laughs> yeah. The only way you can get Jimmy out of Jimmy V said that. He yeah. said, if you pl ice plunge in ice mountain, <laughs> if you have espresso with the base of ice mountain and you drink ice mountain out of a fancy wine glass, it's a full day. It's a wet day. It's a full wet day. <laughs> And if you sleep on Ice Mountain. No, don't, don't, don't sleep, sleep on, on Ice Mountain, mountain actually. <laughs> but at, do not make a, a water bed with Ice Mountain because we don't want you to sleep on Ice no. Mountain. <laughs> but that would be a full night. That would be a full night, but don't sleep on Ice yeah. Mountain. No. You can rest on it, though. I wouldn't even do that. I would wake up on it. Mm. Wake up on it. So that means you yeah, don't, don't sleep on Ice Mountain, but wake up on it. <laughs> so, guys, go to icemountainwater.com, buy it, and buy get it. wet. I am Ice Mountain. Ad reads over, Ryan. Okay, guys, we are currently looking at the Mossberg website. We're looking at the Patriot LR tactical gun. I have to have one of those. It is pretty sweet. Can we get our hands on these? I'll get my. I'll get on the horn. Talk to Mossberg. And, I mean this. Uh, this looks like maybe the coolest gun that they own, that they have. It does look bad. Keep going down. What is there caliber more is coming? Oh my god! Bolt action on there. That sand. That sand dune color is sexy. The tripod on the stock. Well, it's a bipod, but sorry. <laughs> yeah, guys, you guys gotta check Scroll out this new here. gun. Oh my god! Six five Creedmoor, six five PRC, and three hundred eight Win Mag. My lord, you guys gotta go to Mossberg.com right now and check out this new Mossberg Patriot LR tactical gun. It's got the pistol grip yeah, too. The pistol, pistol grip is sweet. sweet. I would. Oh my god! I don't know what else you want me to say. I now have a new uh, hobby. And that's shooting the Patriot LR tactical gun. I just unlocked a new <laughs> hobby. So we're going to have to go to the range. We're going to shoot our shotguns. We're going to shoot our pistols. And we're going to pull out the Patriot LR tactical. Patriot is trademarked too, by the way, guys. So don't try and get away with that. Yeah. <laughs> so don't even think about putting Patriot on a gun. Mossberg's that got that shit locked down. Sexy. I mean, that's what I would look like, too. Look how focused that guy is. Yeah, yeah. Shades on and everything. So, guys. Get tactical. Get tactical. Go to Mossberg.com <laughs> and be careful because you go to that website and you look at this gun, let's just say you might have some movement. <laughs> and I'm not talking about your trigger finger, either. You may be pinching, pitching a tent. Yeah. At at elk you at might, elk and deer camp. You might be at deer camp when you go to Mossberg.com <laughs> pitching a tent, looking at the new Patriot LR tech. Yeah, <laughs> maybe pitching more than one tent. <laughs> I don't know. The one you sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Camp tent, pant tent. <laughs> camp tent, pant pant tent. Whatever you do, don't sleep on this gun though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sleep, you can sleep advice. with it. 
That's it's actually over. an official Mossberg statement. Do not sleep on their guns. Do Correct. <laughs> you can sleep with it. Don't sleep on it, though. Yeah. But also, yeah. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. Make sure it's not too close. <laughs> or loaded. Yeah. Wake up with Mossberg. Go to Mossberg.com. Ryan. Go on. You're looking a little sleepy. Really? Oh, my God. You look. Like you haven't slept in a week. I'm glad you said something. I yeah. could really use a boost. You got bags <laughs> under your eyes. Your mood is bad. Yeah. You. I, it looks like you haven't shaved in a month. Days. Um, <laughs> your demeanor is lackadaisical. Laxadaisy. Laxadaisical. And honestly, you look like you could go on a holly run. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Yeah. So, Ryan, why don't you, right now, right now, go get in the car, yeah. get the fuck out of here, <laughs> go to holiday yeah. gas stations, and you got to take advantage of their new energy drink deal. What is it? Energy doing? drink deal? Buy any two 16-ounce energy drink varieties and get one free. Fast Twitch, Rockstar, and Mountain Dew Energy. Is Fast Twitch Rockstar? or is Gatorade. It, ah. Yeah, it's the new Gatorade. I actually tried drink. it. And it's pretty good. So you're going to need to go to holiday. You do not even think about passing gas. Okay. Yep. Nope. Suck that baby back in. Turn on into holiday gas stations. Go get the energy drink deal. Buy two, get one free. You're going to have three of them. Yeah. Don't drink them all at once. I have, you know, well, maybe. Well, gonna, we, we don't want a holiday. would not condone drinking that much caffeine at one sitting. I'm going to go get me an ED deal. Energy drink deal. <laughs> I thought you were talking about at all again. Yeah. No, no, we're talking Ryan, ED. Hey, Ryan's got ED, energy deficiency. <laughs> so I you need guys are also suffering from ED, much like Ryan is right now. <laughs> Turn on into holiday gas stations and take advantage of their EDD. No, I think if you actually have ED as well, they probably may have something in the <laughs> pharmaceutical section that could help you. <laughs> Can't conform nor deny. Yeah, no. Yeah, we don't. I would not know anything about that. <laughs> I've never been in that section looking for anything <laughs> like that. And it's not an official holiday <laughs> statement, too, by the way. That's just Ryan. So, all of our EDers out there, you got a little energy deficiency, go to holiday. They'll help you out. <laughs> all of our Eds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, now that you've eliminated your ED, you can get it's after gone. it. You look better. So gone. You finally don't look like a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, what do you got? Will Mahogfit asks. Um, you got to say it. Will. What, what's her name? Wilma Hogfit. Oh, Wilma. Yeah. That's what I said. I thought it was uh, Will. You, you said Will my Hogfit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Uh, if you won the lottery and could only buy things, you know that what, guys? I already won the lottery. I got you guys. Aww. Yeah, fucking, you got good soup at home. I use the same line around Anne anytime anyone talks lottery talk. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her that though. Don't tell her. Don't yeah. tell her I said that though. That would be disastrous for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you won the lottery and could only buy things that start with the first letter of your first name, what would you buy? More money. <laughs> That works. Yeah. I would buy. <laughs> I would buy tons of money. Oh yeah. No, that you got to be the, the thing has to be the. Only buy stuff. Wow, I got it. I got the best answer. Time. That's oh, phenomenal. I can't argue with that. Well, all right, we're all playing for number two here. <laughs> I'll probably buy a museum. <laughs> I probably also would buy a mosaic of some sort. <laughs> um, I would buy a mezzanine. <laughs> I would buy a motorboat. Marbles. I also would buy a motor carriage. Motor home. A car. Motor home. Okay. <laughs> I would buy motor oil. <laughs> Mansion. I would buy a mansion. I'd buy music. I'd buy all the music. I would 
you know, I'd be hitting dollar sixty nine on iTunes over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, McDonald's. McDonald's definitely. It's a franchise. You'd buy the whole thing. Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. Ryan, what about you? I'd probably buy a Rari. <laughs> Rari. <laughs> Because Fetty Wap said I got I have a Glock yeah. in my Rari. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, that counts. So, so counts. Fetty Wap, yeah. So you buy Fetty Wap's Ferrari? No, I would buy my own Rari. <laughs> um, probably a red one. Nice red Rari. You uh, can put red in front of anything, and you it counts for that's you. That's true. Yeah. I could buy everything maroon. Yeah, I can buy everything teal. You could buy maroon well, five. A, yeah, <laughs> I would buy five. maroon five. <laughs> That's all you got? It's a Rari? Uh, can you get you guys help give me some options? It's not easy. I just raise your scooter. The, yeah, you can. Yeah, but I want to buy something really nice. There we go. You could buy something Ro really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy the entire city of Rome. An RV? Uh isn't Rome I a could buy, country? I could buy Raider Stadium. It's isn't like Rome, a city isn't state Rome a country? I go. Hey, Jared, isn't Rome a country? No, it's in Italy. It's in Italy. Or is Vatican City a country? It's Vatican like a, is in Rome. It's like a city state like DC. Yeah. Google it. Same church, Rome's different a state. Big city. Yeah. Is Rome a country? Well, you could buy Rome still. So. I could buy Rutgers University. You could. You could. Uh sorry, go to Vatican City. Is Vatican That's a country. Vatican City is a country. But it says city in the name. Is Vatican City a country? Smallest country in the world. Suck my dick. Who? <laughs> Whoever doubted me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Goes out to all my doubters. <laughs> yeah. Apparently you guy. <laughs> you, the, you've gotten Razor Scooter and a Rari. Uh, I also said Rutgers. Rutgers University and Raider Stadium. It's not, you can't buy Raider Stadium. <laughs> Why? Because it's a Legion Stadium. <laughs> also, I would, buy the Raiders. I, yeah, I would probably buy the Rainforest Cafe. Uh, that's a good one. That's a great restaurant in Mall of America if you ever been. Biggest mall in the United States. <laughs> Bigger than the Vatican. <laughs> um. <laughs> God, what's something really fucking cool? <laughs> you could buy Race a, car. You could buy a ranch. Yeah. I'd probably buy a huge rental home. All of the red wine. Yeah. yeah. Well, red is more <laughs> so, a rental home. <laughs> Red's more so an adjective for wine, so no, I'm, I'm out on that. Okay. Um, I'd buy the movie rights to Risky Business. <laughs> if I was Ryan. And then you could collect all the royalties. Yeah. All the royalties in the world. Yeah. yeah. You also could buy royalty. Yep. That's that's, that's kind of how they did it. <laughs> that's it. You'll buy royalty. Royalty and royalties is all a guy needs in life. Yeah. <laughs> and time. And time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next question, Jared. Uh, I'd probably be jet ski and jacuzzis. What about the New York Jets? Mm. Would you buy a jet? Yeah, I'd buy a jet. I think it would cool. be fitting for you to buy the jeweler's store, Jared. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a layup. Yeah. But then you'd have, have to, to re you'd have name. to rename it. You have to rebrand it into J E R R O D. Yeah, and I think I have enough money to rebrand it. Yeah, enough diamonds. You'd have to buy the rebrand from Ryan, though. <laughs> <laughs> I would all the rebrands. Yeah, you would. Yep, yep. <laughs> he owns all the royalties on the rebrand. <laughs> he owns all the rebrand stores. Mm -hmm. Um, Ryan's burner account asks, "Would you rather only be able to use landline phones to talk to people?" Oh, or only be able to talk to people via MSN Messenger on dial-up service? Great question by me. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I want to go landline. Um, yeah, I think it's easy easy answer. Landline. I so easy. like now that it's become kind of a novelty to have a landline. I think it's like kind of dope to hold like an old phone set. I feel like I'm in an old movie. Yeah, you know. You think they'll make a comeback? I'm sure that they'll come up with a smartphone that just looks like an old rotary yeah. phone handle. Well, the yeah. Razor came back, so. Yeah, the flip phone. Yep. 
I mean, if it the dial up thing, if there was no dial up and it was just MSN Messenger, I would go with that because I could still use my phone. But dial up just means I'm also at home still. Yeah, I think I go landline. I think I go mm-hmm. that move. Nothing's cooler than making business deals on a landline. Yeah, and then you know and then I mean? if it doesn't go through, you just fucking slam it back on the receiver. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The the hanging up is way cooler with a landline than it is on a smartphone. And if it's yeah. really old school, you and you could be talking to your crush and like twirling the cord in your finger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing, recorded. Yeah. No, it's nothing's cooler than walking around with the phone, like holding the actual <laughs> set. <laughs> With the long cord that goes into the wall, <laughs> doing one of those and just carrying it. Anyone who does that in a movie looks so cool, and it looks like they're like really talking business. They're getting shit done. Plus, they had landlines on Wolf of Wall Street, which was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great movie. Um, so I think that's a Pick layup that of a phone question. And start dialing. Yeah, pick up the phone and start dialing. <laughs> um, Hugh. Hugh G. Rection asks. There you hey, go, Jared. There we go. Hugh. <laughs> Huey. How do you get out of a wedding in the fall when you don't have any leverage with the old ball and chain? That's your first mistake. You got to get leverage somehow. It's your first mistake. You got ball and chain. You got to <laughs> yeah. get rid of it. You got to um, file for a divorce ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> number one, divorce. Yeah. Two, just get, just <laughs> you got to get on the landline. You got to start getting on the trading block. Mm-hmm. You got to start offering other things that she doesn't have to do. Yeah, if she's your ball and chain, and you have, you, you what did you call it? What the trading block? Yep. You have billions of dollars on the line. You don't have to go anywhere. No, you're making money for the family. You got a Glock in your Rari. Yep. <laughs> He's trying to work that in now. <laughs> I mean, it's only the first time. Probably played in his car today. Now he can't stop. <laughs> yeah, he came right, up on you, his shuffle on yeah. his phone. You do do that. Like we'd be on our way to a breakfast ball shoot. Whatever song was playing, you'd sing it the whole round. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's creature habit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think yeah, you got to start thinking about hey, what is she? What is what are you two required to do together that she doesn't want to do? And then you just start bartering. You start. Hey, I'll give you this. You don't let me. I don't got to go to this wedding. And then also just say you got to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was going to say, as always. I, I, yeah, I was going to say, you could pull the work card because that always works. Um, you could also just get like a week, like a weekend gig where you get to pick the weekends you want to work and those weekends being the ones. Yep. Start your own business and then choose your own schedule. Yeah. And then only schedule yourself during shit you don't want to do. Yeah, that would yep. go over good. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, then when she's like, oh, why can't you get work? I'm like, oh, boss is being a dick. Yep. Um, bartending gig is always good, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or just tell her you have a bartending gig. <laughs> just go to just a bar. Go to the bar. Go to the bar. <laughs> so she yeah. checks your location. You're yeah. there. That is maybe the move. Yeah. So Hopefully you, you win it big on blackjack so she thinks you got tipped out. No, huge. first lose all your money on blackjack. And so then you have to get a second job. Mm-hmm. But then when you go, say you're bartending, mm-hmm. making money, but then you just play more blackjack to try and win that money back. Yep. Mm. And just keep doing it over and over and make sure you hide it. Then she's like, you work at four different bars at eight hours? <laughs> yeah. 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 All Traveling the bartender. People. And then if you always just say, like, everything I do is for you. Everything I do is for my family. Yeah. Deflect. Yeah. Just like, I want to put food on the table. And she's like, honey, we both make decent salaries. <laughs> just be like... But you never know when the next famine may come about. Yeah. You got to stock up. Next potato De- famine. Depression coming. Yeah. <laughs> so I think all those are good options. But I really, really, really like the idea of saying you're a bartender and just going to a bar. <laughs> I mean, if you go there enough, eventually they'll let you just grab your own beers from behind the bar and That's you're true. technically tending it. Yeah. You could just wait on a few tables too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take some orders. Get some tips and before you know it, you're actually bartending. No, yeah, all you got to no, all you got to do is just get an apron, mm. and then have someone like that you know shows up to the bar, take a Snapchat of you walking around with an apron on, and there's no yeah. way. Yeah, and then a towel over the shoulder. Yep, towel over shoulder, little uh, little notebook, notepad, and then when she's like. You got to work this weekend? And you're like, well, it depends. What do we got going on? <laughs> <laughs> Towel over shoulder, apron move. Way to go. 
<laughs> Maybe I throw on a fucking chef's hat. Yeah. And then if uh, her event gets canceled and she shows up to the bar to make sure, you just say hi to her immediately and then be like, all right, they got me on toilet duty. And then you're just going to have to wait it out in the bathroom. <laughs> make sure you bring your phone. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be on that toilet. Your legs are going to fall asleep hard. It's fucking deadly in here. Honey, you got to go. This toilet could blow up. Or you just walk out of the back door and just go home or something. Yeah. yeah. To a different bar. <laughs> yeah, go to yeah, go, go to your next shift. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking nomadic bar Ah, uh, sorry, left out the back. My other shift started five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I was already late. Forgot I had that, that shift today too. <laughs> just by luck. You're like, I had to go home and shit. And she's like, You were in the bathroom. Like, no, it was out of order. I couldn't. <laughs> the toilet was broken. Yeah, that's, that's why I was, I was in there for so long and I couldn't fix it. And then I had to go to the bathroom, so I had to go home. Then you have to like break the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so I always keep a few firecrackers in my pocket. D- waterproof one, drop it in the toilet bowl. It'll break that ceramic in no time. Only reason why I know that is a kid did that in elementary and middle school. Actually, <laughs> really? I've yeah. always wanted to know like if it really a, works. They'd go to like, juvie for well, that. Reason. There's now, a lot yeah. of, you know, paying under the table. Politics. No, a kid lit off a firecracker in the toilet and the toilet bowl just. <laughs> <laughs> fell off <laughs> so it's legit that it works yeah i'm pretty sure i always wondered if that was true didn't have the balls to try it me neither uh, you got the balls because the toilet blew up while you were sitting on it <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> next question <Stretch>. Jared. <laughs> uh Le- liam burgess asks what feels better when a stranger like the person at the cash trader calls you uh excuse me okay what feels better <laughs> When a stranger like the person at the cash register, this is really confusing. I understand now why you don't want to read all day. <laughs> yeah. Why you want to hike. I get that now. You'd be reading the same line <laughs> for eight hours straight. Do, do they improper use of commas? There was zero use of commas. Uh, Let's paraphrase. Let's you get the gist. So when the what do you like it when the cash register do you okay, what out of these three? What do you like when the cash register calls you um, by these names? Chief, boss, or boss man? <laughs> like boss it. is a no go for me. What about honey from a coming from a female? No, no, I, they call me there? chief. I feel like there's some animosity behind yeah, that. Yeah, fuck, you're right. Like, chief is no go. Yeah. Chief, what if they call you Chief Keith? <laughs> At the dispensary. <laughs> Here you uh, go, Chief Keith. <laughs> that's a good one. Have a good day. Um, <laughs> boss man's the best it's, it's completely innocent to call someone boss man I feel like I don't, there's never been an instance where someone's posturing up in a fight kind of peacocking and be like let's fucking do this boss man but people will call you boss and chief when they're trying to get under your skin yeah chief's definitely the worst mm-hmm. yeah. I would agree with I that I think I like chief the most chief can be endearing when said the right way but what if they call you buddy Buddy. Yeah. What if you're a fire- now, buddy. what if you're a fireman and they call you chief? <laughs> that seems yeah. like that would be kind of nice. Yeah, but they could also say it like smart ass employees. Okay, yeah. chief. Yeah. It, yeah. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. It's a big tone thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so what was the question? What do we prefer? Yeah. I'm not reading Probably boss man. I kind of like huh, I like honey. Not an option. I put that in there. I one. put that one in there. What, what, what was the actual question, though? Chief, boss, or boss man? What no, do you like I want you to read the question word for word, okay. Jared. What feels better when a stranger like the person at the cash register calls you it? Chief, boss, <laughs> or boss man? Liam, we got to start working on the English, Liam, our English. Throw that question to the <laughs> chat, GPT. Have it work, rework it for you, and then spit it out the other end. Have someone proofread you before we're spit and send on these. Because the cash register is not calling me anything. The, well, it's the person behind the cash register. Exactly, but it's not saying that. It's saying, he, he the cat. That. No. It says, what do you Re-read like when the, the question cash again, register Jared. calls you? What feels better when a stranger like the person at the cash register calls you it? Calls you it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't process it's, it. It was just the, the sentence structure is really bad. Really bad. Yeah. Calls you it. Anyways. Okay. Chief, boss, or boss, man, Ryan? 
boss man yeah. or honey. <laughs> yeah, that's not an option. Yeah, would you rather be called sweetie, honey, or babe? I think it'd be weird if a stranger called me babe. Yeah. In the South, they say yeah. sweetie a lot. Yeah. Sugar. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going with honey. Hun? Hun's another, Hun's another popular one. Uh, more so like old ladies at the diner yeah. who are waiting on your table. What can I get for you, hun? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that one. Yep. Um, Ulick Mahiney asks... <laughs> Ulick. If you had to pick one area of surgery to, to do for a job, what would it be and why? I'm picking the least risk because I feel like I'm not going to do a good job. <laughs> do it. You going to pick vagina? No. no. I don't think vagina people... surgery. <laughs> Breast augmentation. <laughs> Boobs. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. And why? That's a lot of cushion. <laughs> <to me. laughs> I think, I mean, the self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to explain that any further. I think I'd rather be like a toe surgeon just so then it's like you can cut okay. off a toe and you can just be fine. Whereas like your fingers, you use those for more things. Mm-hmm. If you cut off a big toe, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> big for balance, though. Big toe is very important for balance. I mean, we, Pinky toe then. Are we going into this? <laughs> Are we going into this with, with training or you we have what, to be Tyler? a surgeon right now with our knowledge? Probably right now. Fuck. I was okay, going to say we, brain we, surgeons make the most money. We we can we all agree that being a boob surgeon would be the best mm-hmm. besides that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> butt lifts. BBLs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brazilian buttocks lift. Mm-hmm. Just a creepy surgeon. All yep. right. <laughs> You guys have a super relaxed office. <laughs> Got a lot of sports memorabilia in your office, you know? Yeah. Maybe on Fridays you wear Hawaiian shirts. No, they're not open on Fridays. Yeah. Yeah. From Tuesday, Weird, to, yeah. Tuesday to Thursday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Yeah, we don't have a casual any day. We just have business Mondays. Yeah. And the uh, nurses are not wearing scrubs. They're wearing skirts at Ryan's uh, yeah. practice. <laughs> Banker hours. Yeah. I mean, businesses has to be booming in a place like that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and you accept credit cards. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Lou Sassel asks, you're in a, a you're in a eleven hundred square foot room. How many eight year olds do you think you can take out before they take you down? Eight year olds is a tricky age. Mm-hmm. Because they're starting to develop some muscular mass at this point. And they're fucking savages. And, yeah, I mean, it's also, if it's a room of Dylan's, you got no shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get three, maybe. Two. Three, three Dylan's. tough. They never said Dylan's, though. I know, but we're, we're using that now. Three, I could handle no problem. Five, I could handle no problem. Ten, though. <laughs> I think 10 is tough because even if you kind of cut the room in half or doing like a helicopter type of motion with your fists. That's what I was going to say. You do the helicopter, it's game over. Well, I think the the move has got to be when the first wave comes out, you find the smallest one and use it as a weapon. Yeah. That's good. I think I think I could do 10, but that might be my limit. Because essentially you find the you find the the toughest ones and you eliminate them first because if a little scrawny Ryan jumps on your back, you're fine. You can carry him for a while, you know? (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't scrawny as an eight year old. Yeah, you were. I was not. You had to have been. I wasn't dude. I was 125 pounds in like fourth grade. You were pudgy. Yeah. I wore Husky jeans. Me too. So, I would like proof. Okay. I'll show you a photo. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think, think you guys 10, are, I think 10 would be my limit. I think you guys aren't realizing how weak eight year olds are. That's just tens a lot. Like you get you're trying to find But I think you could just run straight through all of them, knock at so least five of them down, and then you just deal with the other five until Ryan, those 
you gotta, me, you gotta me, take them out. Ryan, here. let me reframe this for you. Have you seen the guy on TikTok who does the see how many blank it takes to hold me? And he starts. He does. Yeah, I think pl- so. He mm-hmm. does plastic hangers. And he's oh, yeah. got a pole, and he he goes, and he obviously one plastic hanger can't hold him. But when he gets up to like thirty hangers that actually hold him in the air, it's the same thing with eight year olds. One eight year old, no problem. Three, no problem. Five, ten. You said start to think there's a lot going on. Five. It's just like you can't take them all out. You'll have two on your legs, one on your back. Then they start catching on to your arms, They're hanging on you. Like You don't need to take all of them out at one time, though. If you take four of them out, you only yeah, have six left. They're all coming after you. But you once. have to take four out while the other six <laughs> are attacking you. Yeah. I don't like... Um, and think. let's say the average eight-year-old is what, 100 pounds? 80 yeah, pounds? 80, 80, give or take. 80, yeah. Think of having six 80-pound bags of sand on top of you. But they're not all going to be on top of you at the same time. They could. They could. Because mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of a dog take one pile of, if before? You, if you can't take one of them out by the time all eight get, or all 10 get to you, then I, I, I think it, I think you're just weak by So how many, you weak, could do 10 individual. easily then is what you're saying? I think so. How many could you do then? I would say 20 would be... <laughs> God, that's so many eight-year-olds. <laughs> and if it's eleven, so you, it's also eleven hundred square you, feet, which is like my that's like the you size of my versus basement. an entire classroom of eight-year-olds, <laughs> and you're winning with eleven hundred square feet, which none, neither of you guys were taking into consideration. Absolutely. So this room <laughs> is like a sixteen by twenty. What's sixteen times twenty? I'll do it. Three. Oh, eleven hundred is yeah, way bigger. Yeah. Oh, I could probably do more than ten then. 320. So this room's 320 square feet. So it'd be like three of these rooms. Like the upstairs, yeah. Almost. Okay, then I could do more. Than, I could do 20. <laughs> 320 times three. I was thinking a room like this size. I think I would go on an emotional route. A- appeal to them. Tell mm-hmm. them I'll buy them Minecraft bucks or whatever the fuck they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> if they came after me, I'd beat the or fuck like, out of all of them. Your dad's never coming back. Stuff like that. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, all right, you guys fight each other. Winner is yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that or like, hey, Dylan said that he could beat the shit out of you. Is that true? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, be, no, well, prove it. And then you got a ring circle going around. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then you just walk behind and snap everyone's neck while they're watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snapping necks on eight year olds is an underrated move. Yeah. And cashing checks afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Snapping. Ch- yeah. Is there money on the line? Because that also is a motivating factor. Like what so. do I get if I win? Well, you don't ever Red get rates. money again if you die. That's true. That is true. Yeah, I mean, if it's eleven hundred square feet, that's a lot of square feet. Yeah, that was part. That was. Part I of think it, I could it? take twenty because because then I just am constantly moving. I could probably take twenty five then. <laughs> I think I take the eleven hundred square feet. I convince these kids to follow me, and I start my own sweatshop. So unlimited kids. Well, that wasn't the question. I, I could take all. I the question take, wasn't if you had eight year olds and eleven hundred square feet. What business could you start? No, that is not the question. It's how many could I take out? I could take them all out by working them to the bone. Okay, all right. It's a slow bird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twenty five to thirty. I think what I would have to do is I'd have to stack some tables on top of each other, get on the top. <laughs> And then it's you don't have to fight them all at once because they would have to climb over each other to get yeah. up there, and mm-hmm. then it's just fighting one at one time. King of the hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd go the king of the hill approach. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta grab the tables and stack them. <laughs> you could just start throwing kids through the drywall. Yep, get them stuck in the drywall. <laughs> they wiggle their feet, and then you can worry about snapping necks later. <laughs> yeah, or you you just run full speed with both your arms out and clothesline <laughs> all of them. Because again. These kids are not gonna. They're not gonna be able to take. That is out. true. Picking up an eight year old and chucking them at other eight year olds is <laughs> no. You just grab like a, a bu- bowling pin type. Yeah. Of- no, you just grab one by the ankles and spin in circles. Yeah. That too. Dizzy though. Yeah, well, <laughs> every true. once in a while you change. No, direction. you go like this and you go. You stay in one spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lasso. Uh, so yeah, at least 35. Is there like a fire extinguisher I can rip off the wall in this room? 
<laughs> that also weighs into it. Yeah, I think it's just let's just say yeah. A normal can 11. I, can I rip the antenna off of old tube TV? <laughs> yeah. Is he fencing them? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I think I can do 20 in an 1100 square foot room. Yeah, I don't think 40 is out of the question. <laughs> Keep going up. <laughs> well, I feel like once you get past 20, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, you, if you could do 30, you could do 100. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. Like 100%. it's like the bell curve, you yeah. know. It's like yep. twenty is the peak, and then it's just all easy after yeah. that. It's like two kids, from what I've heard, is harder than three. Yeah, so you might as well just it's have like three. parenting, <laughs> or or like dogs. Yeah, is that a difference between four kids and eight? You know <laughs> what I mean? Because the the oldest four just take care of the youngest four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Takes a village. Plus, we're not also thinking about. I think the real tactic here is you're going to need to dispose of one right away because of the emotional trauma that's about to happen to these eight year olds. (laughs) Yeah. They see fucking (laughs) Billy with a snap neck laying on the ground. They're going to think twice. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to try and keep their distance game plan around. It is not, it doesn't matter by that time when they're game planning. It's yeah. You need a tone setter. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, front kick right to the chest. Yes, <laughs> oh, and it they're literally they're splits to their face. It literally splits all thirty of them, all fifty-five of them, down the middle like the Dead Sea, <laughs> like bowling pins. <laughs> Imagine just flying through the group of fifty-five eight-year-olds. Now I will have to say, with a, with if, a if they do get a hold of your limbs, though, you're kind of screwed. Yes, <laughs> because I have three nieces and nephews, and I've had them each on each leg and another one grabbing my arm and it's tougher than you think and they're only like five but if you needed to throw an out like just like jab an elbow i mean yeah if i if i really wanted to i could fucking launch him and <laughs> yeah. push came to shove but that's a, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> if foot came to launch he would be in oblivion <laughs> in about Point two seconds. We'd have a new satellite is basically yeah. what would be going on. <laughs> so I think 60 is the number. <laughs> well, after 20, I think it's negligible. It's a horse it's, you just get too exhausted to keep fighting. It's horse apiece. Yeah, just keep bringing them in. <laughs> it's an 1,100 square foot room. They're going to have to come in waves at some point. That's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess how many eight-year-olds can you fit in 1,100 square feet? That's the biggest <laughs> question. I think there's your answer right there. You know? That's a, very well said, Ryan. Probably a thousand. That being said, we do not condone harming any eight-year-olds. We would never harm a child. We wouldn't do anything like that. No, so. unless you feel threatened yourself and have to use <laughs> but, self-defense. I mean, uh, yeah. By six to, eight-year-olds. Uh, de-escalate the situation. <laughs> but again... We, this is all hypothetical. We would never do anything like this. Yep. Is that it? Yep, Aaron? we're done. Yep. Okay. What a question <laughs> to end on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The, the cash register bit. Was it man, boss, and honey? Chief? Oh my God. Chief, boss, or boss man? And what, what would I, what, what, what would what I, what do you like what? to be called? What would you like to be called out of those three? By the cash register. <laughs> the, the, he's, he's doing this. <laughs> yeah. Stranger like the person at the cash register. <laughs> I, I man, kind of sure. secretly hope that the patrons keep making their questions uh, harder and don't. harder to read. I'm going to cut this out of the pod. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going boss man. We- <laughs> <laughs> You already went, honey. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. But. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio. If you'd like to submit your questions, go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio. Or go to the Patreon app. Search us up. Subscribe up. Ask your questions away. Is that it, Ryan? That's all I got. Guys, thanks for tuning in. May your eight-year-olds be manageable. And may your cast registers call you honey. <laughs> Cheers, <Yeah>. Ryan. <laughs> oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.